Hello world. Little bunnies, little bunny bitches. Hey! <laughs> okay. Hope here this we are. isn't focus. Yeah, let's just, you know, fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. We're back in my room this week, but mm -hmm. it's a little, the lighting's a little different because we're in a different place and we're doing this at night because this is a kind of different thesis check in it video. Is. It's thesis check in collaboration. I mean, it was already collaborative, yeah, but, but now it's specific. It's design collaborative mm. as opposed to like yes, YouTube collaborative. Yes, yeah, video. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go over some different samples and yarn and inspiration and Ooh. the good stuff. Yeah. So we can get started helping Megan realize her awesome knit ideas. Uh, I'm so excited and also terrified, but I'm excited, so. And it's gonna be good. Yeah. Um, excuse me, filming a video. Every time. We're just so popular, the paparazzi follows us. It's ridiculous, I know. It's, you know what it is? It's my new grunge look. That must be it. I'm just so grunge right now, guys. So grunge. I'm so grunge. You don't even know how grunge I am. <laughs> Listen, I mean, for me, this is pretty grunge. I went for a good old 90s grunge-esque look. I always feel bad saying that because I'm like, I feel like someone who's like, that's their era is like, that is not 90s grunge. What do you I have like the good choker on, I've got some dark, I've got a dark brown lip. It is brown, it is not black. It's true. Uh, I'm not brave enough to pull off black lipstick yet. This is as close as I come. Um, and I have like a little cut, kind of bit of the like wavy hair. It's a little more, but. It was a little more, ow, I was wearing a ring and I slapped it against my hand. It was a little more wavy earlier, but yeah, I mean, the day has passed. Yeah, my hair is flat. Don't really know what happened there. It's, it's an everyday struggle. Um, enjoy our collaborative knitting video. Oh, also, we're both better this week. Oh I forgot in our last video yes. we were both sick. Well, yeah, I'm still kind of recovering. That's true. But your cold is gone. Your cold is gone. Um, I got a little better. bit of a cold, but I uh, caught it immediately. Um, so that's gone. And my eye is all better. It's beautiful. Yay. And you're going to make me dinner. I am. I'm making her dinner for her birthday. Mm. So excited. Yay. Okay. Um, videos have we done and I still look at the viewfinder every time um, we're filming. Oh, me too. I'm just like, that's where I'm supposed to look, right? No. Here. Hello. Professional YouTubers, mm -hmm. we are. Not. Okay. Um, but yes, roll the clip. Mm-hmm. I'm wearing such cute socks. Hi. Oh Hello, my gosh, wait, also, so now our viewers know we have bodies. We do, it's true. We. Hello. Hi. I feel like we can take it to a branch um, plush doll. I would sooner die. <laughs> so, I was going to high five you and you moved. Oh. I went soon again. Yeah! Oh my god. Woo! That is so hard. Ooh, go. Okay, so um, a lot. So I'm gonna do explain a lot of things instead of holding up my phone and being like this look because no one can see it. We're just when I talk about something, I'll be like this. If I say something like this is the look that I want to do, um, I'll just pop a picture up in the screen like right here. So this is the look that I wanted to do the top and then possibly the leggings. Um, I'm still not sure if I need the leggings anymore because it's like the layout's changed a bit. So the top part that I wanted to do is a knit and um, the photo examples that I have. It's all about like looking at, you know. Especially for something like knit, like that is so foreign to me that I was just like. Yeah, it's handy for me because then I know like it won't be exactly the same. No. It's like you can give me an idea of like what you're thinking. Yeah. So I can be like, yes, I can do that. Or no, no I can't. I cannot do that. <laughs> yeah. So it's handy as like a, a design tool for us both. To help us collaborate. Megan. Would you like to use the corresponding pen? I would like to use the corresponding pen. I was like, I had the weirdest moment. I was, when I watched La La Land with my dad, she used, she had this pen behind her ear and I was like, oh, I have that pen. And I was like, 
I just got so excited over like a pen. I was like, oh my gosh, Emma Stone's using the same pen that I use. As if that somehow makes us like the same person. For Kate Spade and this one says, what's the word? And yours says, from the desk of. Mm -hmm. The issue is, is I like looked at these things like this, which I thought were kind of cool. It's like a bunch of different kind of like mm -hmm. colors and things right. with like some sparkle thread in there as well. And like, mm -hmm. I kind of like, but I realized that I can't make it this thick because nothing else in the collection is that heavy. Right. Yeah. Um, it's all very light because it's like spring. Mm -hmm. Like I love this. Like I love, this is more inspired for the looks for like my other stuff. Like this is what inspired this one, like the big tacky sleeving. Mm -hmm. But I do like the, um, like the X's and stuff, kind of like that thing. The different like paneling. Um, maybe not something as intense, but. I do like that. I like this, where it's like patchy. Mm -hmm. um, so more of like a patchwork kind of idea. Yeah. But like I want it to look cohesive, but like a lot of colors. Um, but then also like thinner or like, um, not thinner. I guess the word I'm looking for is like, this is like springish, right? Mm -hmm. Like spring, summer. So it has to be light. Yeah, lightweight. You know what kind of yarn you want to use? Like, what kind of fabrics are you using for the rest of the collection? Um, for the rest of it, I'm using. Well, I think the most of it is going to be linens and organzas and silk. So linen, organza, silk, cotton. But I mean, cotton's like linen, so it's like yeah. Um, very lightweight things as such. So this in particular, I haven't decided on the like frayed bits at the bottom but I think I want it to be like a proper organza or something very kind of lightweight and flowy that's like not gonna be too stiff right um so we should probably use like a silk thread what type of yarn should I use <laughs> well you know <laughs> it's a great question you asked there um so if you're doing you like master of all knits <laughs> master <laughs> teach me your ways okay I'm sorry Oh boy. <laughs> Woo! They didn't get to really choked up. It does. <laughs> you have this look in your eye. Is it the look in your eye or is it this dancing juice? I just don't know. Jeez. Okay, anyway, if, so if you're using I think silk. I want to marry you. <laughs> I want to divorce you. <gasps> That's so sad. I can find a new surrogate, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> I want. To leave this world. <laughs> I can arrange that. <laughs> <gasps> okay. <laughs> no, if you're using silk and organza and like linen and you want it to be lightweight, we could use like a cotton or a silk yarn too. Because mm -hmm. yarn isn't just wool. Mm. Okay. It can be different material. Alright, do you have some examples? Well, I'm so glad you asked, Megan. Um, I do happen to have some samples, so let me just reveal some. So... Alright, Mary Poppins. This here... <laughs> yeah, see, like, that's the kind of thing I was thinking. It's like... Okay, so, like, this kind of detail? Or, like... Yeah. Like, different bits on here, because as you can see in my, like, sketch. Right. But do you like, I like this they're, as like, well. how they're stuck together? Or would mm -hmm. you want them, like like built into this do you have an example where it's built in yeah okay cool can i see that because i like i mean i like so this it'd be like a this pattern one. like i know you don't want this pattern per se but like you can do the color work where it's like viewers at home for the viewers at home um you can see how the pink and blue are like very separate distinct areas mm -hmm. So they can be like distinct like that, mm. or if it's like felted together, um, or like somehow connected together, it can be more freeform like that. Mm. And like it can be distinct like this, but still also like be more wild like this as far as like the pieces go. I like this, and I think this fits in more to this piece as well. So the more like textural? Yeah. Um, no, hate that. Put it away. Never want to see it again. <laughs> Not in my house. 
With my own two ears, I had to hear you say that. And tonics like different weights, so we want mm -hmm. it to be lightweight, obviously, but like, I don't know if it will show up. I think you can tell because it's very yeah, like transparent. The white is like very transparent, and then the pink is not. So would you want like that kind of thing happening in Do addition to the texture, or no? I think that might be a lot. Maybe for the leggings. Mm. But do you think this is too heavy for spring? I don't. Yeah, I mean, I can use like a lightweight yarn. Because this is like kind of thick, probably for. I mean, it's for also spring. like it's a top, so I don't want it to be like. Too... You don't want it to be like transparent. Yeah. But you don't want it to be too heavy. Yeah. Um, more subtle color mixing. Like it's still yeah. a very distinct pattern, but. I like this for the leggings. Oh, and it's like felt in on the back, kind mm -hmm. of. Okay, I like this for the leggings. Or for the, that might actually work for the top too. It might be a lot though with like all this on top of that. Actually, no, I like that. This is a little sheer though. Yeah. Well, they can be tighter together. Like they can be like closer together. Mm-hmm. Okay, then yeah, I like that. Oh, what a what a fun! You mean for us to there. for you to show off to the viewers? <laughs> Here, oh, look how skilled I am! Someone hire me. Um, but yeah, so maybe like also like this would be good to look at for like textures because I can make like bumpy parts and like stuff, and I can make certain parts like open more. So I know it's a top, but like if it was like down here, I could have a little bit of like a more open kind of weave at the bottom or like something, you know. We can sketch it out and see. Mm -hmm. So like semi felted. So it's like certain parts mm -hmm. are kind of stuck together and then certain parts aren't. That would be a way to achieve like this textural kind of thing, but like not quite as bumpy. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted it to like, like I can control where it's like more flat and where it's more bumpy. Yeah, my thing is, is I just want to make sure it's a sturdy enough thing where I can do something like this. Would I be able to do this on something thin like this? Yeah, and like, I can make this, like these effects that are happening on a thicker, Well, it's not the, I don't, I'm not really like, I love it, but I don't really like this effect per se, like I just want it to be plain. Mm. And then, cause like, it's like a little Argyle-esque mm -hmm. to me, which I don't want in my right. thing, but I'm just saying like, I like the, minus the purple, I like the like, um, the way that this one is done. Like I like how it feels. Right, so like that's a, um, an Angora blend. So it's like wrap it. They don't die, Megan. <laughs> they just brush their fur and then stick it together. <laughs> it's really cute, actually. I'm allergic to rabbit fur. <laughs> wow, so really just rub that all over your face, Megan. Then I mean, it's like not that bad. It's just like, it, like if there was constant like rabbit dander in my room. Yeah. The soft like texture. Of yeah. This with like the thickness of. It. And it's like still thin enough that like I would feel comfortable wearing this without anything underneath it. Um, and like kind of like this these patches a little like in spots in different colors yeah like you know pink and purple and green and orange and yeah like we can do this like on any of these really like okay cool yeah i like this for maybe like the leggings okay with like these fun this fun little patch here okay so just set that aside somewhere okay to remind me let me pull out some let me pull out some other things oh it's just a party over here oh so much. Oh, oh my. All these things to review. Cotton. So this is like what a cotton yarn feels like. Oh, that's nice. Okay, that mm -hmm. So like the green is like much. So it's like still light. Oh, wow. But it's like not as transparent. Mm -hmm. um, yes. No. Yes, I'm intrigued by this. I love this sample. This is my favorite sample that you've ever made. Like, if you made me a scarf out of this, I would be so happy. I, like, saw it there and I was like, do I grab it? Do I not grab it? And it's like, Wah. Also, like, do you need this? <laughs> Can I have it? Uh, yes, Megan. <laughs> I do, actually. 
But it'd be such a cute scarf. I know. <laughs> like, I love this. Like, this is what I want. My leggings still look Yeah, fit. I feel like the leggings would look good like that. I drafted that as I looked at a picture, and then I took the colors apart and then made stripes. So mm. if you had, like, an inspiration photo that we could look at together, then I could do the same oh, thing. so many that. inspirational photos, don't you worry. This is also, like, a synthetic, and you can feel that, too. Whoa, okay, yeah, I do feel a difference in that. Yeah, it's, like, really slippery. Yeah. So do you like, is like, the more good. natural yes. ones? Yes. Okay. I don't like don't like my nits to be oh, slippery. Yeah, I feel like a dozen bunnies. It feels like a giant fluffle on my skin. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. I have my yeah, stacks. They're pretty thick. And stacks on stacks on stacks. <laughs> Did you eat these? Nope. Those are disgusting. Get them out of my side. <gasps> oh my god, bye. Never want to see them again in my life. Uh, bye, Megan. Okay, wait, also. Oh, unicorn yarn! <gasps> we closed up for the viewers at home of all this, all this sparkle party. But yay, sparkle yarn! Woo! Oh my gosh. Wait, I'm gonna what? die. What's up? Man, you have got to stop pulling on this. It's stuck on my body now. It's a part of who I am. Yay. Yay! Oh my goodness. I'm in like. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that was our little collaboration about knitting and um, still a thesis checkered video, just a little bit different. And um, yeah, also enjoy. We have a lot of new vlogs and a lot more. Um, we have a lot more content now because we're both vlogging. Jenna's vlogging a bit more than more and frequently so you could definitely check those out and then occasionally I'll post some up there. We have a joint um, one this We week. do. We have another joint one which yeah. is really fun. We got some good old Taco Bell. We mm, uh, had a stuff. washing machine that almost exploded which was fun. And we, um, what else? oh yeah we did fittings which are really great and mm -hmm. I finally fixed the top issue that was in the previous vlog so yay! Good I had to remake the entire thing but it's fine. And I have a new estudiante. Miss Sabina. Sabina! Yay! So check that video out. That's pretty much the only thing I need to plug. Yep. Yeah. It's a it's a great it's a great ride. It's really it's just such she a delightful birth. yarn it's boy. A, it's wow. It's just stunning. His name's yeah. Yuri. It's great. You don't know. Yeah. So if you want to see a live birth happen, check mm -hmm. out Jana's Jana's Check out Jana's vlog. <laughs> Jam vlogs live birth? Question. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be great. All right, okay. well, yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. XOXO Gossip Girl. Hi. I might make him, where'd you go? But like, why? <laughs>